So, ladies and gentlemen, what I would like to go through with this, Pedro, Yago, I'm trying to explain what you're supposed to be doing, not what you're supposed to be talking to. Well, let's go back and check our answer and make sure we have it correct, okay? So, even if, thank you, I'm glad that you know what to do, but please, let's not talk next to them, so especially when I'm speaking. So, we go through this. So, it says, ladies and gentlemen, the difference of two numbers is 10. Their sum is 88. Find the two numbers. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a word problem, there's a very important thing you need to do for every word problem. You need to first figure out what the question is asking. They're asking, um, find the two numbers. So, we need to find the value of two numbers. So we need, the next thing we look at is what is it we don't know? Well, we don't know the value of the first number, and we don't know the value of the second number. So when we don't know values of something, we assign them variables. So you can say x and y. However, if you're going to write down x and y in an equation, if you do not define your variable, you will be marked down. All right? Just don't say x and y and then solve for it. I don't know what x and y mean to you. Does that make sense? X and Y represent something. Unless you tell me what they represent, I don't know what they represent. All right, Tim, you can put that back on the desk. So X represents the first number. Y represents the second number. OK? So we don't know what the first and second number is. The only thing we know is the difference of the two numbers is 10. So what does difference tell you? Is that add, subtract, multiply, divide, subtraction? So you could say x minus y equals 10. And then it says the sum is sum what? Add, subtract, multiply, divide? Add. add. So you could say x plus y equals 88. Now, there's, here's the key important point. If you have two variables, how many equations do you need? Two. Do we have two equations? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So now we need to solve this, right? And I didn't give you guys time to solve it. Some of you guys went ahead. But yes, Tim. Well, it's an important point. We have two different parameters. If you said what two numbers multiplied we gave you 88, yeah, there's infinite many solutions, right? You could do 44 and 44. You could do 87 and 1. But none of those subtra subtract to give you 10, right? So there's only one unique number for x and one unique number for y that are going to subtract to give you 10, but add to give you 88. So what is, did anybody solve this? What method did you use, Yago? Substitution method. Which, anybody else use elimination? Use elimination? OK, very good. You can, use either elimin you can use either one. Substitution would be easy because you have one for um, for your coefficients, right? So substitution would be very easy. Just solve for x or solve for y, and you can plug it into the other equation. Elimination is also very easy because look it, the coefficients are exactly the same for both of them. Here, they're the same value. Here, one's positive, one's negative. Um, I like adding, so I would just do elimination from here. So I get 2x equals 98. x plus x equals 2x. Got it? So you could say x equals um, 49. Then, well, yeah. So then you plug it in for 49. So you say 49 plus y equals 88 minus 49. More just find a 9. y is going to equal. Um, uh, 40, what? Huh? 39. 39, yeah. 7, 9, 8. Looks good to me. That would be positive. So let's go and take a look at substitution then real quick. I'll do it real quick. So substitution, solve for variable. What variable do you solve for? I solve for OK, what's your equation, top or bottom? OK, so you, so you did x minus y equals 10. You added y to both sides, so you get x equals y plus 10. Right? Then you plug that into the equation. x, I'm sorry, y plus 10 plus y equals 88. So therefore, 2y plus 10 equals 88 minus 10. Yes? 
Yeah, this is done. I, someone asked me to do it substitution, so I want to show you substitution. All substitution is you pick a variable to solve for, which I did. I picked x. Then you plug the value of x into the other equation. So x plus y equals 88. Well, now x equals y plus 10. So now it's y plus 10 plus y equals 88. Solve, and you get y equals 39, which we already knew. And then you'd plug that back in, and you can look at it. Then you just say x equals 39 plus 10, which we already know y equals 49. Okay?